So you bought a company called Siri. Yes. Siri actually launched at this conference, mm -hmm. and within a matter of months, you bought them. So we take credit for that. But, um, but Siri is, and, and it's in your ads. It's your, it's in, at least at the moment, it's your principal way of selling the iPhone 4S, which, as you pointed out, has sold in large numbers. When the it new, works, the new John Malkovich ad. John Malkovich, Freaking Samuel John. Jackson, you know, yeah. whatever. When it works, I'm sorry. Go ahead. When it works, it works really well. It's kind of like magic. But a lot of times, it actually doesn't work. And that's not what a lot of people have come to think about Apple products. Mm -hmm. It says, I can't help you with this at this moment, or it misunderstands you, or it gets the thing wrong. And it's a beta. Yeah. You, you know, so what's going on with that? Well, Is that product up to your standards? And customers love it. Customers First of all, love customers it. love it. It's uh, one of the most popular features of iPhone 4S, which is our most popular, the most popular selling phone in the world, I guess. But there's more that it can do, and we have a lot of people working on this, and I think you'll be really pleased with some of the things that you'll see over the coming months on this, where the breadth that you're talking about uh, We've got some cool ideas about what Siri can do. Uh, and so we've got a lot, we have a lot going on on this. Is voice critical to these phones going forward? I think Siri's proven to us that people want to relate to the phone in a different way. And, you know, for years, there wasn't a lot of, uh, there wasn't a lot of invention in the input. And then touch came along. It was a very cool, different way. And, um, and I think voice, particularly when it's combined, where, where it understands the context, not just voice recognition. Voice recognition has been around for a long time. Uh, maybe it didn't work at different times and so forth over the term of it. But what really makes Siri cool is that she has a personality. You know, she becomes many people's best friend. I mean, yes. it's Isn't that, that a little sad. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm not. I'm not a judge. Uh, Although you know, a woman not listening to me is not the story of my life. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think you're going to be really pleased with where we're taking Siri. Is that more responsive, bossier, what? <laughs> Is that what you're looking for? I'm always looking for that. <laughs> <laughs> a um, secret. We'll see. We'll see. But I, I think you're going to be really happy with it. I really do. And it is key. It is profound. I'd put it on the profound list. You know, there's not. Is it the AI piece of it that's look? You could put probably. I'm guessing a different voice recognition module than the one you have in there now. And I'm not saying it's, it's pretty good, but I mean, you could put a better one, a different one, yeah. whatever. It's not voice recognition, it's understanding. It's, under, it's the context, the AI. It's what you that's call That's when you say something's profound, that's what you're talking that's about. That's what I'm talking about, yes. You know, this is something that people dreamed of for years, I think. And, and it's here. It's really here. Now, yes, it can be broader and, uh, and so forth, but we see unbelievable potential here. And, you know, Siri uh, as a feature is sort of, it has moved into the mainstream. People hear the word Siri and they know what you're talking about. It's amazing that this has happened in, uh, since just October of last year, not very long ago. And, so I think you're going to be really happy with where it's going. So really um, I guess we're doubling down on it. <laughs>